What is going on guys? My name is Senna and welcome back to another video. Every time I post one of my Valorant guides, I get a lot of comments from you guys, which I really appreciate. In this video, I'm gonna be answering some of the questions that you guys have left me in the comment section so that I can help you guys out who are struggling. Right before we get into the video though, guys, I just wanted to thank you all so much for 60,000 subscribers. I feel like every video I'm thanking you guys for another huge milestone and this video is no exception. Our community that we've been building here on the channel is growing so fast and I just cannot thank you guys enough for all of the support on the channel. My goal is to help you guys improve at Valorant and I want to see everyone succeed. Seeing this goal become a reality is truly one of the coolest things I've ever experienced and I just cannot thank you guys enough for helping make this possible. If you do end up enjoying this video or finding it useful, don't forget to drop a like down below and subscribe to the channel for more content just like this. With all of that out of the way guys, let's get straight into the video. The first comment is from Tyler who says, I'm silver, but in deathmatch, I go against immortals and radiance. Not a good strategy in my opinion. This comment comes from one of my aim training videos where I tell you guys that deathmatch is a really good tool to get better aim. The thing about this is that if you're going up against people of higher skill level in deathmatches, that's better practice for you than if you were going up against people of the same skill level. Playing against better players really puts in perspective how much room for improvement you really have. Playing in lobbies like this will force you to have better aim and movement in order to keep up with those players. The more you play against better players, the more that your habits will adapt to their play style. If you're silver and you're going up against other silvers or below, it's not going to help you improve as much as if you were going up against better players. I also believe that deathmatch has hidden MMR that is separate from competitive MMR. So if you're a low rank going up against high ranked players in deathmatch, it means that your performance in deathmatch match is very good. Even though it can be frustrating to play against these players at first, I really do think that this is a blessing for you, and once you get used to playing against these harder players, you will be destroying everyone in your ranked games. The next comment comes from Jordy, who says, my main account is Hardstuck Iron 3 Bronze 1, but my alt account is Bronze 2, but playing in mostly silver lobbies. I'm getting more RR for the same performance on my alt, so what should I do about my main? I bought skins. Let me explain what's happening to your main account here. When you you first started playing Valorant, you were much worse at the game, so as you improve on an account, the account's MMR will raise. If you were hard stuck iron for an entire act and constantly were in that MMR, once you push into bronze, the game won't automatically start putting you up against better players. When you start a new fresh account, you're obviously gonna be playing better than you were when you first started on your main. The game is trying to figure out where your skill belongs. So when you're doing well against these bronze players, it'll start putting you up against silvers and other ranks to test you. I've experienced this on my main account where I was plat or low diamond and I was going up against immortals. Personally, I don't think that it's worth for you to switch to only playing on your alt account because on your alt, you're going up against harder players anyways. The reason why you're gaining more RR on your alt is because you're doing well against better players. If you go back on your main and do well in your own lobbies, your MMR will rise. If you're playing on your alt and you're playing good against harder players, that means that you are capable of ranking up. I would keep grinding on your main account and use this as motivation to tell yourself that you can play well against better players. Hopefully this answers your question. The next comment comes from Honey who is quoting me and says, your teammates aren't the reason why you're hard stuck and then do not solo queue too random. Okay, sir, so what? And then does this confused face emoji. This is from one of my videos where I told you guys that your teammates are not the reason why you're hard stuck, but I also told you guys not to solo queue in that video. I see how this seems really contradicting and it doesn't really make sense, so I'm gonna explain it for you guys. When I say that your teammates aren't the reason why you're hard stuck, I'm not saying that your teammates aren't the reason why you might lose some games. Everyone loses games to bad teammates, me included. Sometimes I match MVP and all of my teammates have single digit kills and we end up losing the game. But claiming that you're stuck in an entire rank because your teammates are bad every single game doesn't make sense. The game isn't trying to sabotage you specifically by putting bad teammates on your team every game. Some games you'll get trash teammates, but then other games you'll get insanely good teammates that carry you. If your mindset is, oh, I can't escape my rank because my teammates are bad, that is probably the worst mindset you could possibly have. I was stuck in gold and silver myself, and the way that I was able to get out of those ranks was to stop focusing on 
around what my teammates are doing and focus on myself. The thing about solo queuing is that it is mostly a coin toss. Sometimes you'll get really good teammates that'll carry you, but sometimes you'll get trash teammates as well. When you duo queue or trio queue with people that you know are good and gonna hold their own weight, it'll massively increase the chance of you winning that game. And I'm not saying that you can't solo queue to climb. That is absolutely incorrect and you can definitely climb to the high ranks by solo queuing. I solo queued from plat one to immortal myself. I've told you guys this before. I got to immortal from solo queuing. All I'm saying is that it would have been a lot easier for me to climb if I had teammates that I could rely on every single game. Hopefully this makes sense and kind of clears this up. Basically what I'm saying is that you should not blame your rank on your teammates, but I do understand that you will lose some games because of your teammates, but you will also win some games because of your teammates as well. Like I mentioned earlier, the game does not have a vendetta against you and it's not putting bad teammates on your team to sabotage you. It's just random and that's how the game works. Hopefully this clears up this confusion and that you guys understand what I'm talking about. The next comment comes from Ashwin who says, hey Senna, I have a problem where I crouch spray instead of tapping and I've tried a few methods like unbinding the crouch key and playing death matches, but after binding it again, I keep spamming. What do I do? Someone help me. So here's the thing about crouch spraying. Crouch spraying is a habit that you need to break by focusing on it. When you unbind crouch and just play how you normally do, you're still spamming your crouch button. It just doesn't make you crouch. So in reality, you aren't fixing this habit at all. You're just making it so you can't crouch when you do this habit. I used to have this habit a lot and I still do it from time to time, but I've never unbound my crouch key whatsoever. What I would recommend doing is playing unrated and deathmatch and making it your goal to not crouch spray. Every time you do it in your game, you need to call yourself out for it and ask yourself, why am I doing this? Why is this a habit that I have. Playing and focusing solely on stopping crouch spraying is so, so important for those of you who have this habit. And I'd say that this is a pretty common habit and a lot of players do this, including myself. Like I just mentioned, if you're one of those people who unbind crouch to stop crouching, it probably won't help you and you're probably still going to be doing it subconsciously, but just not crouching in game when you do it. When you bind it again, you still have that same habit and nothing has changed. Hopefully this advice will help some of you guys out there who are struggling with the same issue. Thank you for your question, Ashwin. Next comment comes from X Skull Ares, who says, what if your aim is good, but team sometimes lets you down or Smurfs join? I'm an iron player playing in bronze silver lobbies. For the teammates that let you down part, that's absolutely inevitable and you will always have games where your teammates are not performing. It happens to me and it also happens to all of your favorite pro players. Everybody has a pop off 30 kill match MVP game that they still lose because of their teammates. It's absolutely inevitable. The issue I have is when people blame their entire rank because of these games that happen occasionally. There will be games where you're the one bottom fragging and getting carried by your team. It happens to me, it happens to your favorite pros, it happens to everyone. It is very, very unlikely that you're match MVPing every single game and still losing. For dealing with smurfs, all you can really do is learn from the experience. Every time you die to one of these insane smurf players, think to yourself, how did they kill me? What did they do to kill me that worked out so well for them? And sometimes it's just that their aim is better. Sometimes that's a thing. They just have better aim and they out aim you. And that's something that you need to work on. Whenever I was in the lower ranks, whenever I went up against a smurf, I saw it as inspiration. I thought to myself, I want to be as good as this player someday. This guy is someone that I want to be. I understand that it really sucks and it can feel really frustrating to play against smurfs, but all you can really do about it is learn from that game. Hopefully this helps you out x skull aries next comment comes from jink who says correct me if i'm wrong but it's good to stay as close to the wall behind you farthest away from the angle you are peeking so that the enemy sees less of you due to peeker's advantage right but isn't that countering the concept of ferrari peeking you look like you are peeking fast because you are as close to the wall as possible i've told you guys in numerous videos how peeker's advantage works and how the closer you are to a wall the easier it is for the other person to see you first while this is true, it actually is good to be pressed up against the wall in front of you when you're Ferrari peeking. I've never really talked about Ferrari peeking in my videos that much because I personally don't really do it, but there are situations where it is good. The thing is about 
Ferrari peaking is that you are swinging very wide, exposing yourself to an entire angle. This means that you're exposing yourself to multiple people and it is very likely for you to get instantly killed or at the very least traded out. When you have your face pressed up against a wall and you're peaking, you want to only Ferrari peak because if you peak close or walk peak, you're going to be a very easy kill. In my opinion, Ferrari peaking is only really viable if you know that there's only going to be one person there and you're trying to catch them off guard. So to answer your question, yes, you are correct. That is how you want to Ferrari peak, but I would not recommend doing it unless you know that you are only peaking one person. Otherwise, you will probably die. The last comment for this video comes from Benjamin who says, Hey Senna, I had a question about easy and medium bots. Should I go back to the middle to get ready for the next shot or should I stay where my crosshair is from the last bot to the next one? Like, is it bad habit to go back to the center after each bot? What Benjamin is referring to here is for the easy and medium bots portion of the Prems method, he's asking if you should recenter your crosshair in the middle of the map or keep it on where the last bot that you killed was. Personally, I think it's better to recenter your crosshair in the middle of the map because it forces you to flick to the next bot. If you keep your crosshair on the last bot that you killed, there's a high chance that the next bot will spawn close and you won't need to flick very far or if they spawn on the other side of the range you're gonna have to flick super far personally i think it's more effective practice to keep resetting your crosshair in the middle of the screen but honestly i don't think there's anything wrong with keeping your crosshair where the last bot was it's really personal preference hopefully this answers your question benjamin and thank you for asking it and i think that about does it for all of the questions that i have for this video hopefully i answered some of the similar questions that you guys might have have had in this video and if you have any more questions for me don't be afraid to drop them down in the comment section below so I can either reply to you or include you in a future video like I mentioned earlier guys thank you so much for 60,000 subscribers and all of your support on the channel recently I love going through and reading your guys's comments and even though I can't get to each and every one of them I want you guys to know that I appreciate every single person who comments on my videos or supports them in any way improving at Valorant is not easy and it's a huge grind so I'm glad that we can all improve together no matter what skill you are if you are still here at the end of the video i just want to say thank you and if you did enjoy this video or find it useful don't forget to drop a like down below and subscribe to the channel for more content just like this thank you all for watching this video and i hope that you have a great rest of your day peace out